Hey guys, welcome back to Clay's Custom Builds. So I haven't posted in a while, I just I just couldn't think of any videos to do, but I just been driving my golf cart around and I know I've known I've needed new wheels for the back of it for a while because I just bought some cheap ones and but they didn't work that too they didn't work that well like because since it's a li live axle I think no solid axle in the back whenever I turn like one wheel spins slower than the other one so then they don't spin at the same time at the same well they do spin at the same time so that kind of uh, it wears them down so they're worn down a lot you can see I got them off my go-kart like it's it's the middle studs are down to the down to the main part of the tire so see that you could see right here they used to be like just that much off and now it's flat with the rest of the tire so what I got is these they're slightly smaller but I wanted bigger ones I didn't know if what size these ones were though like what the whole size was so but I know the rim will fit but I didn't know what size I think if I air it up though it'll probably go up about like that much more so I think I'll be good but yeah so got these for 30 bucks they seem pretty good quality like the pair for 30 so they were really cheap but I think that they're gonna be better and where we're moving to it just has we're moving on to 10 acres and so we're gonna build like a whole dirt track and stuff and I think that these tires will um, last longer because those ones I usually uh, rode them in the on the street so but now it's a lot since I'm gonna be driving on dirt it's not gonna wear them down as much but yeah so I, I just I took them to my dad's office last night but they did not fit the the tire machine like the rim was too small so I'm just gonna have to do the old-fashioned way just two flathead screwdrivers and yeah that's pretty much it and yeah I'll show you guys how to change them and I'll put the uh, tires if it's tubeless you have to break the bead the bead is wherever this part sits against the rim that that's what like has to hold in all the air so well I just did let out all the air and then I just went just like pushed on it and jumped on it and then it just popped off I, I think I got on the other one too I'm not sure though but we actually do have one of these nice tools it's like a it's meant for tire changing it's just like a giant curved flathead screwdriver and all you do is you get the curved part, stick it down inside, and then just crank it over. And I'll do this side. Cause, yeah, see, the bead is still on this side, so I have to break it. Well, I decided to just cut the tire because, I don't know, it's, it's really thick down there, so it does not bend that easy. So I'm probably just going to cut it right there. And Two 
thousand years later.